Hello, Y members and friends. Welcome to Y on the Go, your destination for family, fitness, and community resources. We're glad you're here. So for the first exercise, we'll be doing bodyweight squats. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart, toes are pointing forward. Make sure your back is completely straight as you're descending down into the position. Make sure you go up until parallel, and then come right back up. Okay, you're gonna repeat this for 20 repetitions. Make sure that you're controlling the movement nice and slow. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, make sure that your knees are not rolling in as you're descending down and coming right back up. Three more. Last one. All right. For our second exercise, we'll be doing reverse lunges. Stand with your feet together. Bring one leg back into a kneeling position. Keep your back as straight as you can. Come on down. When you come right back up, make sure you lead with the heel and the front leg. Coming right back up. Alternate legs. Now remember to make sure your back is staying straight as you're coming up. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders. Four. And I'm gonna do a little side view so you'll be able to see my back. Staying as straight as you can. Six. You can also cross your hands in front of you to help you maintain your balance and keep your back as straight as you can. And remember, we're going for 20 repetitions once more. Make sure your movements are controlled. Nice and slow contractions. Seven more. Two more. Last one. All right. Our next exercise will be inchworms. Make sure you have enough space. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Toes are pointing forward once more. With the palm of your hands, you're gonna crawl into the push-up position. All the way through. Make sure your back's staying straight. Bring yourself all the way up. One. Two. For those that find difficulty with this exercise, you can bend your knees a little bit more, making this exercise in a more regressive form. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 
16. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. All right. So our next exercise will be knee ups. You're going to start off kneeling onto the floor. One leg at a time. Make sure you remember which leg you bring up with first to come back down with the same leg. Start off with your back completely straight. Again, you can cross your arms. Make sure your back is as straight as possible as you come up. Bring one leg up. Make sure your toes pointing forward. Leave with the heel of the front leg. Come up and then come back down with the same leg you went up with. Alternate legs. Right leg up. Right leg back down. Left leg up. Left leg down. That's three. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, three more, almost done, 18, 19, last one, 20, Whew. all right, good, all right, our next exercise will be shoulder taps, make sure you give yourself enough distance space again, just like the inchworms, feet shoulder width apart, get into the push-up position, hands are also shoulder width apart, using one arm at a time, bring your hand towards your shoulder cap, Alternating, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. All right. All right, for the next exercise, we'll be doing mountain climbers. You're gonna come down. You're gonna bring one leg forward, other leg back. Keep your hands shoulder width apart. Make sure both legs are on your toes. You're gonna basically jump, bringing your front leg to the back, back leg to the front, three times. One, two, three. That's one repetition. We're gonna do it for 20 reps. One, two, three, it's two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, it's four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right. So the next one for burpees, traditional burpees, start off with your feet shoulder width apart, get into the push-up position, Hop, bringing your toes to the very top. Go ahead and stand up. Come back down. Extend your legs back out. Jump back up. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Sixteen. Three more. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. All right. The next exercise, plank pull-ins for core. You're gonna come down into the push-up position. If the floor is too hard, you can also use a mat. Cross your arms over, and with side view. You guys can see my form. Make sure your fists are right below your mouth, elbows bent. Make sure your back is straight. Make sure you're not hyperextending your back. You're sticking your butt up. Back straight. You're gonna bring one leg in towards your stomach as far in as you can. Come back out. Two. Three. Four. Remember when you bring your leg back out, your back stays straight, it's not hyperextending. Six. That's eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, two more, 19, 20. For our last exercise for core, we're gonna be doing Russian twists. You're gonna come onto the floor. Make sure your feet are together, heels are on the floor, bend your knees. Try to keep your back as straight as you can without losing balance and falling back. Don't round your shoulders. You're gonna bring your arms in the front Crossing over sideways without moving your legs. Touching as far out as you can to the sides. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So these exercises are meant to be done in circuit form. Go back to the beginning of the video and make sure to do these total of three times. Thanks for joining us today. When you're at Y On The Go, you're in the right place. The place for fitness time, family time, community time, anytime. Be sure to check out all of our other videos in the link below. See you again soon.